you know, uh, it was good to win. We said that last Saturday night, and it always is good to win. It's better than the alternative. Um, you know, as you look at, uh, we looked at the tape and, and saw where we were. There's, you know, some things that we need to do on both sides of the ball uh, better. There's some things in the kicking game that obviously we can't miss uh, a field goal and miss an extra point. But, you know, in all areas, you know, the improvement that we have to make if uh, um, we want to win the championship, uh, we've got to make a lot of it uh, this week. And uh, we look forward to um, going to Las Cruces. Uh, I think they're a much improved football team. You know, not seeing them last week, there's some uh, unknowns because they got a lot of new faces on their roster. When you look at some of the junior college transfer guys, and they have a new uh, coordinator on offense who's been a very uh, very good coordinator at uh, four different spots and uh, does a great job. And, and, and Coach Walker is a tremendous defensive coach. So we have uh, our work cut out for us uh, as we head down there. Well, you know, he, he coached with uh, Dan at Cal, Freno. They were on the same staff together and uh, – uh, you look a lot of things that they did at Minnesota, you know, uh, um, and, and some things from his Northwestern days. But, uh, yeah, you, you try and uh, figure out, you know, he's had his system in place, but he also is a guy who looks at uh, the personnel he has and uh, makes some decisions there. From what you've seen so far, pretty multiple. Oh, very multiple, you know, uh, very multiple. Um, you know, it will look a lot like what Missouri will look like. You know, I mean, he was with Gary at Toledo and did a great job there when Coach Pinkle was there. But, you know, so there's some similarities in what they do on both uh, on, on the offensive side of the ball. On defense, uh, talking with the guys from the other day, they're 4-3 days. Does mm-hmm. it kind of help to see a 4-3 for the second week in a row? Well, you know, we, we had practiced uh, all – fall camp on what uh, we thought Nichols would run out of the 4-3, and they ran a totally different defense. So it was uh, one of those deals, you know. But, uh, you know, well, it did. But, I mean, you you go back to your fundamentals and techniques, and, and, you know, there's um, from an offensive and defensive perspective, there's rules and um, that that, uh, are ingrained in every play, and and there's – uh, certain fundamentals that you want to take when you're looking at your footwork, when you're looking at uh, your combination blocks, when when you're doing all those things. Yeah, I, I think it does, and I think it tells you a lot about you know what uh, was done on the sideline, you know, to a certain degree. I think you know Daryl uh, Funk, our offensive line coach, and his communication with Al and Jeff upstairs, and Brian and Mac on the sideline with the receivers. I think that was, you know, something that uh, um, our, our guys handle very well. You discussed on Saturday night, it was like, yeah, we won, but it was, this was wrong, this was wrong. Did you, I mean, do you implement that same to the kids as well? It's like, yeah, we won, but this is what we did wrong, this is what we did, this is what we did. Well, there's no question. Believe me, I, I tell them more than I tell you, I can promise you. But uh, uh, they... Uh, <laughs> But they, 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 they know, I mean, that uh, and when we met on Sunday and after we had looked at the film on, in the kicking game and offense and defensively, they got in. And, you know, we talked about this, you know, we, you know this missed assignment or, or your fundamentals here were wrong or whatever it might have been, you know. And, and then the disappointment of kicking field goals when you get in the red zone, you know, instead of punching the ball in. I mean, you can't do that and, and win – uh, championship games. Is that kind of your trying to change the culture? I mean, even though it's your second year of saying, like, a win is an acceptable playing very well is more important. Well, yeah, well, the win's important, yeah. believe me. I mean, that, that, that you know, and, uh, but that's how I've been trained, you know, as a coach, uh, that, you know, we've got to continue to improve every week. You know, you see most championships won in November, and that's when you got to play your best. Well, I, you know, as you look at it, you know, I thought Neil Spencer 
really played well. Um, it was nice, you know, he hadn't played football for two years in a game. And it was nice for him and nice for us. And I think it gives us another good body uh, defensively up front. Um, you know, I, I, offensively, I thought Nico had a really steady game in, in what he was uh, he did. I think Gavin Escobar, you know, is a guy that uh, you can see his athleticism and his ball skills um, as a tight end and, and the potential that he has. Uh, you know, I, I thought our kickoffs were tremendous. You know, we and um, we we thought that Abel would give us that part of it. You know, which in turn made our coverage better. You know, on kickoffs. Now, the punt can't get uh, the punt return they had. We kind of outkicked coverage a little bit, but there's still you know some fundamental lane things that we didn't do a good job with when you're covering a punt too. On who? He's going to, he'll do everything but contact, and then he'll have contact on Thursday. So uh, he should be okay. No they called it uh, head trauma. I know, I'm not sure exactly how you, you define it, but, you know, I, I think, you know, we, we, we've got uh, really good medical uh, help here, and I think they did a really good job with him. And, and Romeo, you know, he, he was, during the game, he's coach, I'm fine. And uh, I've been around guys enough who haven't been fine, but I believed him. You know what, I really don't have any take on it. You know, I mean, uh, I have nothing to do with it, you know, and I know that it sounds like a cop-out answer, but I really don't care. I don't know. I haven't thought about it. I mean, they they got to do what they feel is uh, right with the integrity of their award. Uh, do you have an opinion on whether or not that award should go to the second place home game against Young? Probably not. <laughs> Why is that? In my opinion? I probably don't have an opinion. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really don't. You know, I mean, I, you know, they... My job is to coach this football team and uh, mentor 115 guys, you know, and uh, that, that's, that's the fun part of my job. And every, every minute of it's different. Tell us your uh, thoughts, Coach, on the Warrior Walk, how you felt it went, and, uh, and the honorary award that was followed. I thought it was uh, really, you know, number one, we, we got there a little early, and uh, that's something the timing of the thing has to – to work out a little bit, but that's probably not on my mind at that time is the timing for the Warrior Walk. But uh, I, I thought it was great. It was neat. I think our players, uh, you know, their families, the fans, the band, uh, the drum line, all that was neat. And then obviously having Marshall there and uh, uh, being the, the first honorary warrior, it, it was it was neat. It was uh, um, it, it was. Uh, it felt like big time football. Now back in the day before you were around, right? The mascot used to bring that spear out, do the same thing, but that spear was on fire. Right. Should that be re-implemented? The fire at the end of that spear? Why not? I love it. I like fire. <laughs> but uh, you know, they. I think there's some um, some ground rules to that. Too much burning of the turf. I guess it might be. But you could have a fire extinguisher right there. Uh, I uh, no. Looking at conference, though, I mean, I'm sure Boise State. I mean, with them coming in next year, I mean, the credibility that they're going to bring. I mean, with them, TCU, you guys trying to get on the ride. You know, sure. It, it, you got to be tickling to be able to have the exposure of what they're going to bring. To the league. Well, there's no question. You know, when you look at the last eight to nine years, how much Boise, and you look at the growth of that program, and uh, what, uh, you know, Hawk did and, uh, you know, um, Chris has done a tremendous job and, and what they've done on national uh, landscape is, is great. So, 
Yeah, we're excited that they're going to be in the league. Excited Fresno's going to be in the league in Nevada. Uh, talking with Coach Walker yesterday, one of the things he talked about was really wanting to test your DBs. Do you think that's going to be a Sure. Test as good as Are you seeing them improve as they go up against those guys in that man Well, I, I know that we're a lot tighter in coverage than we were a year ago, you know, and, and just saying that from a practice standpoint, you know, but practice and being under the lights is a little different. But, and I agree with Dwayne, you know, there weren't any balls thrown down the field to speak of on on Saturday, which was not part of their offense or part of what I think they thought uh, LaQuentin could do. So, um, you know, we'll be tested. I'll, I'll promise you that.